You know, I admit, I did it the wrong way. The whole time I was in, I bitched and complained that my talents weren't being used properly, that I was standing around guarding aircraft and hangars, working gates, working patrols, and wasting endless hours in useless conversations with morons with whom I was employed. Many times I said I would quit or I would go AWOL. Lock me up. What are you gonna do? I'm done with this shit. Many times I bluffed till one day I was called into my commander's office. We had a little sit down about my attitude. For little did I know they had seen this type of behavior over and over and over again from personnel who had been deployed in various foreign operations and foreign missions. Of course, they had psychodescriptive terminology for it, which everyone has heard by now, called post-traumatic stress disorder. And thus, I was remanded over to the base psychologist office for thorough examination and analysis. I've been living a new way from the life that I love so and I can see the clouds are gathering and the storm will wreck our home for last night he held you tightly and you didn't even shove this is true for I was watching you from the winter up above you must have thought that I was sleeping and I wish that I had been for it's best to get to know you and the way your heart can send I thought we belonged together and our hearts fit like a glove but I was wrong for I was watching your sorry ass from the winter up above no tell you about that time that I shot them four fellas down in Ciudad de Juarez, Mexico. Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. Nothing matters except that what Uncle Sam wants Uncle Sam gets. And when Uncle Sam sends his boys way down Mexico way, well, some fellas just might end up a little on the dead side. You see, my fine feathered friend, you don't resist when confronted by Sam's boys. It don't matter. You're in the jungles of the Amazon or the far north slope of Alaska. Hell, it don't even matter if you're in Siberia. Uncle Sam pays a visit. 
You're gonna know he was there. Now see, there's Tyndall Air Force Base right over there. Some of these stars up here. I keep wondering if they're really stars at all. Boy, it sure don't seem like no Saturday night, do it? It's the main drag right here. It's only 9 p.m. Where's the party at, boys? Where's the party at? Oh, here comes the party. Six thirty a.m. Sunday morning, August twenty-fifth, Mexico Beach, Florida. Sun coming up. Still a lot of construction going on, as you can see. As they rebuild this town. Six years after, devastating Category 5 Hurricane Michael in 2018. Let's take a walk down to the beach, shall we, ladies? Look at that powdery, sugary, white sand. Sunrise. Now, which way did little Norita go? That is the question. I think she would have went that way. That's what I think. I don't see her down there. I see some distant figures way down there. Calm as a mill pond out here. Fish just jumping every which way you look. Smaller fish running through here and then the predator fish chasing them in the shallows. Wow, too bad I didn't bring any fishing gear. Even if you were a half-assed fisherman, you'd be catching them right now. They are there with abundance. My goodness. Every which way you look. Huh, see that? I don't think I would be out there right now. For one, it would probably be a little chilly this early in the morning. This is also a good time for a nice uh, sand tiger to come cruising through. Wow. A lot going on out there. Feeding frenzy. Wow. I can catch that one on camera. One thing I like about North Florida, it is very red. If you know what I mean by that. Not exactly lib turd country. There are lib turds here. Just a uh, smaller amount per capita than in other places. So of course you got lib turds here, you got crackheads here, you got meth heads here. You got that shit everywhere. I lump them all into the same category. Lib turds, crackheads, violent criminals, pedophiles, just general scum, human scum. Look at that sun coming up. Nice and cool out here this morning in the 60s.
Sure wish I had come down here to fish. Every time I have fished here in Mexico Beach, it's something, you, you catch something, you at least get a bite with every cast. Most of those bites end up with uh, productivity. Something hauled in. It's not always what you want. But definitely not one of those places where you stand out here and fish and fish and fish all day and never catch anything. You'll catch something here, that's for sure. Even if you don't know what you're doing. I was hoping to run into little Narita out here, but she may have well gone a couple miles up the beach that way, and I don't want to go quite that far looking for her. There's the tip of Cape San Blast right over there. It's where we stayed last time we were down here. Birds are out here fishing too. Some of these fish I see jumping are probably a little too big for these gulls. A pelican can handle them, but too big for those gulls. I've seen some good two, three, four pounders breach jump up out of the water. Well, I'm a sitting here tonight with my finger on the trigger and I'm a looking for a fight and I'm hoping it's a... Well, we just won't say that. We'll just think of something else to say. Shall we, ladies? Something sweet. Something holy. Step right up. Come on in. If you'd like to take the grand tour of the lonely house that once was home sweet home. Knock it off, boy. You ain't no George Jones. Knock it off now, you hear? He said, I'll love you till I die. She told him you'll forget in time. But as years went slowly by, she still preyed upon his mind. He kept some letters by his bed. Dating 1962 And he had underlined in red Every single I love you He kept your picture on the wall Went half crazy now and then He still loved her through it all Hoping she'd come back again I went to see him just today Oh, but I didn't see no tears All dressed up to go away First time I'd seen him smile in years he stopped loving her today. They placed a wreath upon his door, and soon they'll carry him away. He stopped loving her today. 
You know she came to see him one last time. Oh, and we all wondered if and she would. And it kept a running through my goddamn mind. This time, he's over her big ass for good. He stopped loving her today. They placed a wreath upon his door. And soon they'll carry him away. He stopped loving her today. Yes, sir, Reed, they got the last laugh on my ass, my young ass. Two weeks before my scheduled departure from the United States Department of Defense, I was called into my commanding officer's office and told, that's what you want, that's what you get. Pack your shit and get out. Go home to mama. You got your honorable discharge, just go. Go and don't come back. Don't ever come back. Though I never went back. However, I did do some post-military contract work overseas in various countries, training their marine and naval personnel in jungle warfare. But we'll just save that story for another day. <laughs>